Why didn't you guys tell me, huh? Why didn't you tell me there was a Colonel Sanders dating simulator? That's besides the point. I really want to see this dating simulator. It's Valentine's Day season, so I'm feeling kind of lonely. And I feel like Colonel Sanders could spice up my life, you know? So without further ado, let's get on with the video. What should I name me? What, what comes to mind? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna cl click a random letter and then we're gonna find out a name about the letter. Okay, ready? So this one. H. Had Hadkin. Hadkin. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Okay, cute. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. That's annoying. Throw the clock at the window and stay in bed forever. Smack that clock up and at him. Smack that clock. Bop. Your mind begins to wonder. Okay, who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Okay, so we need to take this seriously or are we allowing ourselves to daydream a little bit about the future? This is very important. It's our future. So we need to take this seriously. Up and at him, get awake, and let's go. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Miriam? Oh my god, Miriam. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for dramatic. For the dramatic, this summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. And they still love her for it. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pep talking is the best way to relieve some stress because it's kind of nervous, okay? Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and we had our tarot cards read? That lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know, she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower, and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own, and I'm sure you will. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. Whoa! Ashley? Ashley? A Ashley? Your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows that. Oh my god. We don't want to know it all. Ashley. Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Ashley. Across the pod, you see Ashley Ash A Ash. You see Ash's best friend, Bam Bam the Bam Man. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it okay um oopsie okay i think it's broken what's broken what we reach forward and easily pull the door open uh that should do this trick um i'm sorry i'm sorry pop is that your name i love you oh my god confession confessing love i think you mean thank you the dog can t the dog can talk a dog is the CEO and head instructor. Whoa, okay. Preach to you. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then he walks in. <gasps> The Colonel! You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my god, Miriam, do you see him? Do you see him? Like, forget about the dog. He's cute. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Oh my god, that's so original. Oh my god. Maybe we should open the window back up before a faucet pits, smelts in a puddle, and evaporates entirely wow i couldn't say that sentence number two wow you're rude another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor hi guys sorry i'm late i hope everyone has a good summer i really miss quiet oh my god sprinkles calm down late to class is bad enough but interrupting my monologue you're on the fast track out of here young man are you sure you're even in the right place does no one remember me i'm you're expelled if you utter one more word until I finish. Don't you dare say another word to 
I, d I don't care about your name right now, okay? You never heard a dog talking as a teacher, but Sprinkle's reputation being smart but tough is well knowing. Okay, you decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Okay, what would Sprinkles want, okay? I mean, dog, Professor Dog. Let's go with beef, okay? What's the worst that can happen? We'll do beef, okay? You reach beneath your apron and return with a small bit of beef jerky in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks on. Beef? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sprinkles. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't tell me I have to redo this. You clearly do not belong in here. Please remove your apron and never remove yourself from this class in this school. No! Try again. We're trying again. Um, I'm gonna do chicken snack because obviously we're playing a Colonel Sanders simulator and obviously KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Chicken, obviously, I'm so dumb. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks on to it. Yes, his favorite. Round of applause, round of applause. Hey, Hadkin, there's still a seat here. Oh my God, are we gonna sit with Colonel Sanders? Oh my God, Colonel Sanders, don't look at me, I'm kinda shy. Okay, so obviously this is a Colonel Sanders simulator. Colonel Sanders dating simulator. I'm sorry, best friend, but you understand. When I want a man's, I get my man's. But you understand, you'll understand. You love me. Okay, we've been best friends forever. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Oh no, okay, if it's timed, I'm crying. If train A is traveling to a point, okay, I didn't know we were gonna take a math quiz. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Let's just say extremely, looking at you, Pop. That is right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to a feather that's right what's the most efficient eating utensil ever created a spork that's right oh my god you look up and see that colonel has been watching you tally your score he's impressed howdy folks i'd like to make an announcement okay colonel sanders hey, hey i was nobody cares nobody cares it's about lunch okay everyone cheers Woo! okay but i Shh, shut it no nobody cares you hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is it a chicken sandwich? Is it a chicken sandwich? Is it chicken? Is it chicken? Is this chicken? It's chicken. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavor. Ooh, the secret ingredients, okay. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. What, why? Along with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you flow weightlessly. I don't wanna, it's secret. He doesn't wanna tell us yet, so we'll keep it a secret. He'll tell us when he wants to tell us, okay? Culinary hearts, we want that, okay? After tasting the food, you get some one-on-one -on -one time with the colonel. Oh my God. One -on one time with the colonel. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've only, We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use, excuse you, excuse you. Alone together for the first time, you figure now it's the best moment to show your personality to him. Okay, okay, we'll help him. We'll do this. We'll wow him with a big idea. Why not? You know about that? I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an impression on whoever. Okay. You decide to show him that you know of a thing or two about flowing minds with a new flavor. A recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to leave this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, Hatkin. I'm heading back to class for our next lesson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's magnificent, Miriam. I just had the horrible heartbreak of my life that Mr. Colonel Sanders got really mad at me, okay? Because I wanted to help him, but I guess he didn't want my help, and I feel really bad, okay? Uh, not everything's about you, Miriam, okay? Right now, everything's about me, okay? I'm suffering. The Colonel doesn't want me right now. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh no, he's gonna get mad. Wanna be my partner? Sure, Hadkin, I'll prepare our station. Oh my god, Colonel Sanders isn't that mad at me. Who do you want to be? Okay. 
I don't want to choose. That makes me sad. I'm going to choose Clank. I'm sorry, Pop, but yeah, Clank. What dish? Okay, Colonel Sanders, okay? Chicken, uh, mashed potatoes, and gravy. A perfect mix. We don't want no octopus. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we can make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> And gravy, yes, mashed potatoes and gravy, Colonel, you're getting it. Does someone have a crush on the Colonel? Excuse you, Ash, excuse you. Back away, back away. Did someone call for me? No one talked about you. Ashley's really going at you, Heart. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to the Colonel, hunk of hunks, in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever best friend who always has your back, Colonel Sanders. I choose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders chooses me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects fair agreements from contract. I took on Hatkin as my partner for this activity and I stand by it. Oh, he made it, he made it, he made the, oh my God. While we were bickering, he made that. He literally made that, okay. Colonel Sanders holds the spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of, it, hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork and for the small moment, all the madness and pressure in the world stops. We're falling in love with the Colonel. If you love something, set it free. What? If you love something, keep it. If you love someone, if you love someone, keep it. If you love someone, keep it. Together you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ash with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with a Colonel Sanders. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. What is this on an axe? An octopus? No. Ew. No. Ew. You've ignored me for way too long. This ends now. It is I who will have the first bite, and you will all look on with envy. No. Nobody cares. But something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The result could be toxic. And now he's gonna die. He's literally gonna die. Great. I don't feel so good. Okay, we're gonna kill a student. It killed him! Ghost of student, um, hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. <laughs> Seeing that you're shaken up by this really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. Please, let me walk you home. Oh my god. What? Like, for real? Come on. He wasn't talking to you. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to be good with. Oh my god. The colonel's getting emotional. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the per perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Hatkin? There's something I need to tell you. Oh my god, Van Dan, you're stupid. We should follow our dreams with all our heart. That our souls may grant all like wishes floating on a shooting star. Oh my god. Hey, no, I, you, shut up. I'm the one here to say special inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. No, you're not. It's called I Love You, Colonel Sanders. It doesn't, it's not I Love You, Van Dan. Are you forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? Yeah, literally, student is dead because of you. Student is dead. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, me, me. I'm the hero. No, you're not, Van Van. Whoa, what the? The Spork Monster is here to fight a hero. What? I, uh, I think that I left the refrigerator door open. Later, nerds. Is this Pokemon? It's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Okay, Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hog gravy at you. That's not good. That shouldn't happen. You take one damage. Okay, so we're really not doing well. Let's let's defend. If you decide to defend, which defense will you use? Trepidation? What is that? You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like you're pretty weird strategy, but okay, you sure you do. Ah! Okay, two damage. If you take much more damage, you're not gonna survive this battle. So we'll defend. Well, okay, uh, buffer up. Why not? No one can control this much bufferness. You start to feel bloated and quite frankly, a little gassy. You better attack soon or you're likely to explode. You decide to go on the attack. Shout down. Shout down does two damage. That's good, a powerful blow. Spork monster is oozing cheese. That's not okay. Feeling vulnerable. Spork monsters prepare for the ultimate attack. Rounded edge. 
vile villain. Your reign of terror stops here. Well, Sanders in here for the rescue. Summon the energy of a thousand chickens. Pop high power pinch. Pop high power pinch does 10 damage. Oh, he's dead. Spore monster's dead. You, you saved me. Finish him, spare this wretched beast. Let's spare him. I feel bad, I'm sorry. I won't forget this and I certainly won't be back like you said. Good, thank you. Bye bye, hope you have a nice night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken at the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borco. What the heck is that name? Borco. The name sounds strangely familiar. I don't know who that is. Is that the kid that died? As you come down from the battle of Buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, the darkness overtakes you. Are we sleeping? Whoa! Hello! Oh my god, are you doing? What are you doing in my bedroom? Okay. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. In your dreams, you're together with the colonel for some reason. Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Whoa, those are weird dreams. This is the uh, second to last day. So let's get going. Miriam has a crush on Clank. Yes, girl, get Clank. Like, like him? Like, like, like? I know it sounds like moving too fast, but I like him. I like, like him. We're gonna talk after class. He actually, oh my god, he's. Miriam, go get your man. Do it. Go get your man. I'm gonna get my man. You get your man. We're best friends. We're gonna each other's mans, and then our mans are gonna be best friends, and then we'll be best friends, and it's gonna be a whole happy family, okay? Okay, what do you think? Should you protect the colonel's secret or share it with your bestie? No, I'm going to protect him. I love the colonel. That's what the game is called. I love Colonel Sanders, okay? You quickly think of a fake ingredient. I don't know how about... It was Eye of Newt. I know, some kind of a witch's potion, but what can you do? Okay. Oh my god, Colonel Sanders is on a horse. Stand back and admire, okay. Stand back and admire his glory. Oh my god. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. I can't speak. What what a horse beauty you have. I mean, a horsey full beauty you have. Dang it, what was I? What? Can't talk. I can't do anything. I'm sorry, Colonel. I like you. I, I'm in love with you, okay? Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, what happened? Just getting nervous around people like they like. What? Miriam literally just out of me. I mean, they got food poisoning and were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. That's not true. That's not, that's not true. You're doing really bad. And with that, the colonel disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. No. No. You know what? Tell them to stop acting immature. Act like they're not interested. You're not interested in them, but really try and get close. I think they're dumb enough to fall for that. You finally get a look at what they're hiding. You instantly recognize it. It's the book, just like the one that you found after you encountered it with the spork monster. They got pop pinned to the wall. They're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in their mouth. That's sad. No, we're playing. He no, pop. That's not. That's not. That's not. Gay. That's not. That's not playing. I'm sorry. Pop, no, they're bullying you. I'm so sorry. Okay. What do I want to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to sample the dog biscuit. Why not? Because of the shape, it's baked in. You assume a dog biscuit is treat made by Sprinkles, an example of his own culinary talents, perhaps. You reach out for it when Sprinkles jumps up and bites you on your cooking apron. What kind of monster would steal a dog's favorite biscuit? Your apron is left in tatters. The entire class looks in her as you fall unconscious from the embarrassment. Is this the end? You fade into the darkness, but something is there. The spork monster. What? What? It's not your time, my friend. You act of kindness has not been forgotten. You watch as your apron magically repairs itself. You won't have to live in embarrassment anymore. Thank you, my friend, wherever you are. Okay, so let's grab the water, I guess. You grab the water and gulp it down. It's cold and crisp like a purest snow melt in a mountain spring. Hey, that was mine. It was my favorite toilet. You owe me six dollars. You got the excellent taste. Thank you. So, I don't know if that was bad or no. Okay, anyways. Come on, it's time for lunch. I thought I was gonna die. I died last time. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to, I'm gonna end this right here. I'm definitely gonna do a part two. 
because I just I wanna I wanna date the Colonel Sanders, okay? I wanna date him, okay? So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did. And I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.